with hundreds of game demos across a variety of genres being featured at this fall's Steam Next Fest, I thought I'd put together a list of the top 10 games you should check out. The first of them, United 1944, is a multiplayer project that offers a fresh perspective on World War II battles, where crafting, construction, and strategy play as vital a role as precise shooting. In this game, teamwork is the key to dominating in urban combat. Players will gather resources, fortify bases, defend outposts, craft equipment, and engage with enemies in various game modes set in the backdrop of World War II. The game features a day and night cycle that dynamically alters the dynamics of the battle. The darkness of twilight demands reconnaissance support, while simultaneously providing an opportunity for stealth tactics. Effective communication among squad members will be essential for efficiently defending and conquering enemy positions. Deep Rock Galactic Survivor takes the beloved universe of Deep Rock Galactic and transforms it into an isometric shoot-em-up roguelike. While it doesn't reinvent the wheel, it brings together the best elements of the cooperative shooter genre, adds waves of enemies, character upgrades, and resource mining. In this thrilling game, players wield the full arsenal of Deep Rock Galactic, battling hordes of creatures, upgrading their gear, and venturing deeper into treacherous caves. The gameplay revolves around collecting resources, crafting devastating firearms, and unleashing chaos upon alien beings in fast-paced confrontations. Each mission is a unique adventure, featuring randomly generated caverns and enemy waves, much like the original Deep Rock Galactic. Enshrouded is an action RPG survival game designed for 1 to 16 players, set in a world of magic ravaged by an epidemic that has erupted from the depths of the Earth. Mutated remnants of a fallen civilization roam the land, driven to madness and controlled by the enigmatic mist. However, above the mists, concealed deep within ancient temples, sleep the warriors of a forgotten era, devoid of dreams and immune to the passage of time. Players awaken as the Born of Flame, the last hope of the ancient civilization. Guided solely by the hidden power coursing through their veins, they must hunt, gather resources, and craft equipment to unleash their potential and unravel the secrets of the Shattered Realm. Players will embark on adventures into dense forests, unforgiving deserts, deep chasms, and lost underground dungeons of this enigmatic land. The Last Faith is a dark gothic metroidvania game in the vein of Bloodborne. The events take place in a gothic city populated by a variety of monsters. Players assume the role of Erika, who suffers from amnesia and is attempting to heal her ailment. However, the hero won't be able to simply cure herself. As Erika progresses, she encounters numerous monsters, and a wide array of weapons and magic aid her in the battle against them. The game boasts an uncompromising combat system that demands pinpoint precision and offers a huge variety of finishing moves. The game also offers non-linear location exploration, an extensive arsenal of firearms and melee weapons, as well as enigmatic spells. Robocop Rogue City, a new game set in the Robocop universe from the developers of the well-received shooter Terminator Resistance here. We once again take on the role of a cybernetic police officer, tasked with restoring order on the streets of Detroit. Besides boasting a wide array of weapons and exhilarating shootouts, the game also features some impressive graphics and stars Peter Weller as Robocop. Character progression will be available in the form of skill and ability development for the protagonist, which are divided into various categories. Some will be useful in combat, while others will enhance the ability to engage in conversations and interrogations. Overall, the game was conceived as a narrative-driven first-person shooter in which players will have to take down bandits on the streets of a decaying city. The Thaumaturge is an upcoming game set in early 20th century Warsaw, where demons run rampant, and the only hope lies in the hands of thaumaturges, individuals possessing magical powers. However, wielding this magical force comes with various, often dangerous consequences. Developed by a Polish studio known for the stealth action game, Seven The Days Long Gone, and the upcoming remake of the first installment of the Witcher series, this game promises a unique blend of elements. One of the standout features of the Thaumaturge is its distinctive tactical combat system, 
a well-thought-out character development system, as well as elements of detective work and complex moral dilemmas. The protagonist embarks on a quest to uncover supernatural beings and those they have possessed. Moreover, the main character possesses the ability to see secrets hidden within the human soul and communicate with the darkness. Pioneers of Pagonia This is a fantasy city-building strategy from the creator of the Settlers series. In this game, players are in for a treat with a rich assortment of gameplay features. At the outset, you'll have access to 40 different types of buildings and 70 various goods, all intricately interconnected through complex production chains. Crafting and the animations involved in producing and transporting goods are set to be a captivating visual spectacle within the game. While focusing on economic aspects, the developers haven't neglected the exploration of territories. Procedurally generated archipelago maps will offer hidden treasures, secret locations, and cooperative opportunities with friends. The developers do not plan to include a storyline campaign or PvP modes, only cooperative gameplay. They believe that the variety of game options will allow players to manage with just one faction. However, there will be plenty of activities on the maps, as the world is filled with magic and mysticism, and players will have to protect their settlement from bandits and ghosts. Ghost Runner 2 The highly acclaimed cyberpunk action game with wall running and an excellent soundtrack is getting a sequel. The new story unfolds a year after the conclusion of the first installment, and the protagonist will have to combat a cyber ninja cult that threatens the future of all humanity. The sequel will expand the range of possibilities available to players. In addition to parkour and intense sword duels, motorcycle rides will be introduced, and the cyberpunk world will come alive with new elements and aesthetics. Robocraft 2. The sequel to the popular vehicle destruction shooter takes us back to Mars, where two powerful corporations compete for the right to mine the unique resource, Protonium. This mineral allows for the creation of futuristic weapons, so both sides exert tremendous efforts on the battlefield, providing players with armored vehicles, flying drones, and experimental robots capable of combat outside of vehicles. The gameplay is exclusively focused on PvP battles, where players construct and customize their vehicles, and then settle their differences in the arena. An experienced engineer can build a machine from scratch using various building blocks or opt for pre-designed assembly options. These machines can be heavily armored and equipped with incredible futuristic weaponry. and Wake, a brutal role-playing action game with sword battles and other forms of cold weapons combat. The game's events unfold in the ruins of an ancient city overrun by demonic creatures. The main character is the chosen one destined to cleanse the land of corruption and save humanity. Among the game's features are beautiful graphics powered by Unreal Engine 5, dynamic combat, a leveling system to tailor your character to your playstyle, and a wide selection of weapons that can be enhanced with various elements. That's all thank you for watching, the Image Game channel was with you, have a good day.